Good day, everyone. I'm Fyodor, your course instructor, and I'm, well, according to um, your messages, well, to the results of the poll uh, in the online forum, I see that some of you are still confused about um, the colon operator in MATLAB and about the uh, difference between pointwise operations and matrix operations, so, which is why I'm recording this little lecture. Uh, note that I'm not using MATLAB itself. I'm using Octave, which is a free analog. Um, if you want to practice um, our course questions on your own laptop outside of the classroom, this is what you can do. So it, it works exactly in the same way as uh, MATLAB, except for publishing. So you, you cannot publish uh, reports in Octave. But anyway, so let me go through uh, the, these, the, these things. So first of all, note that if um, I write, say, like this, then um, every comment, it calculates something in MATLAB and it also uh, prints the result. So if I want to prevent printing the result, I would have to write it like this. Uh, 1 to 10 with um, a semicolon. Then Y has been calculated, but it is not printed. So now if I want to print it, I'll just write Y. Okay. Um, now. Um, this is the usage of semicolon in the end of a comment. But you can also use the semicolon to construct matrices. So for example, suppose that I want to construct a, say, two by four matrix. Say one, two, three, four. Then uh, to, to go to the next line, I use the semicolon. All right, so the semicolon here, it separates the two rows of the matrix. And then uh, let me create another matrix, uh, say this is 4 by 3, all right? So I will create a 4 by 3 matrix, say, I don't know, 3, 4, 5, 9, 8, 7, 1, 1, 2. Um, oh, sorry, no, this is... A three by three matrix. So I, I want a three by four uh, four by three matrix. So I'll write like this. Okay. So now this is um, four by three matrix. Now a two by four matrix and a four by three matrix can be multiplied. So if you write a star b, then the result is going to be the matrix multiplication and the matrix multiplication of a 2 by 4 and a 4 by 3 matrix is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. Well, um, so the operation star, power, and division in MATLAB, they are matrix operations. So for example, let me create maybe another, say, C 2 by 2 matrix. Say, one. Two, three, four. So if I want to square it, if I write it like this, then it's going to take the square it in terms of the matrix multiplication. So this is the same thing as C star C. But suppose that I do not want to uh, square it as a matrix. I do not want to multiply matrices in C. But instead, I want to square every single entry. So if the entry of C is 1, 2, 3, and 4, so suppose that I want to square every single entry. So I want to construct a matrix with elements 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, and 4 square. Then I should write like this, so star square. So the, the star in front of the, the square, it indicates that the operation should be applied to every element of the matrix. And if, say, suppose that I want to create matrix D, I don't know, 1, 2, uh, maybe 3, 1, something like this. Then again, if I write C times D, then this is the matrix multiplication. But if I write C star, uh, sorry, dot star D, then this is the um, element by element multiplication. So this would be if you print C and D, 
then uh, if you take say this element of d 2 times 2 then you will get 2 in the result you will get 4 in the result say 3 times 3 you're going to be 9 4 times 1 is 4 and of course you can say write c divided c plus dot slash is the element by element division so we take all entries of c and divide by the corresponding entries of d but c slash d this is something different so this would be c multiplied by d inverse so this is same really same as uh, c multiplied by inverse matrix of d okay uh, i hope you 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 got the difference between the uh, operations with dot and without dot so power star and slash without dot and matrix operation so these are matrix operations which means they are applied to whole matrices but with a dot dot star dot uh, power and dot division so these are element wise operations for example if say i construct a vector from one to five then if i want to take x times x then this would be uh, like multiplying a one by five matrix times one by five matrix so it is inconsistent we cannot do that but we can do it with uh, dot star so now it will work because these matrices they have the same number of elements and then you can just multiply them entry by entry so the first entry of x times the first entry of x is going to be one the third entry of x times the third entry of x is going to be nine and so on but on the other hand if you write like this x uh, like with an apostrophe x prime so it will give you the transpose matrix so if this is x and x prime and this is x then know that you can actually multiply x prime by x and x by x prime now dimensions are going to be consistent so x is a one by five matrix times x prime is a five by one matrix we will get a one by one matrix which is just a number and conversely x prime is a five by one matrix times a one by five matrix which is x is going to be a five by five matrix okay i hope it is clear so then let me explain the uh, semicolon operation all right so remember that semicolon it separates um separates uh, uh, rows of a matrix and so for example if we write like this one two three four semicolon five six seven eight so this is going to be the matrix with two rows but the semicolon operations can be also applied to, to matrices and so for example so we have this um matrix x prime times x so this is a five by five matrix uh, let me introduce some like r so then we can write semicolon and then we can introduce more rows for example we can write like this one two three four five then it'll work or instead we could say put a matrix a here so a remember that a was um, a matrix with um with two rows so which means that if we write a here so this is like putting the whole matrix x prime star x first then we uh go to the next row and then we try to insert a but of course if we try to insert a then there are not enough columns 
So after a, we should put some uh, some more, like for example, one like one more matrix, which is going to to be like one, you know, maybe let me write nine is zero. So then it works. So now notice that we have the matrix x prime star x, and this is it is this part. Then we put the semicolon, so which means that we continue to the next row. So that's the next row. In the next row, we should have matrix A, and it is this part. So the first row of A, second row of A. And this is the matrix with two rows and just one column, 9, 0. It is here. So this is how the semicolon operation works. So I, I hope it became clearer now. So thank you for your attention.